Well, hello, beautiful people. My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And today's video is gonna be short and sweet. Today we're doing a makeup unboxing video for you. So I have the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus as well as the small little Ipsy bag for February 2020 right here. And one of their refreshments too. Like they have a little refreshment section where they have like body lotions and body creams so far. So I'm not sure what this is. But today we're gonna be comparing which one I think was more worth it for the price point. The little Ipsy bag is $10 a month, I believe. And then the Ipsy Plus plus is $25 a month. Now I am an Ipsy customer by myself. I also receive a box from them. So I do pay for the plus myself just because I like the extra stuff. I like it more than the little bag usually just because I like the full size items and sometimes there's like good brands in there. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started you guys. Okay, so first things first, I wanted to see what the little refreshment thing was. We've had this bag before because it's like what their little refreshment line comes in. It's just like little add-on things you can do. And I think this bag is so cute because it's like pastel with the yellow on it and then it has this like black and white cord. So let's see what we got. So we have a little refreshment card. It says you're invited, you're invited to a party of one, keep your bathroom stocked and some little stuff like that. So body essentials and here's like the full line of stuff. It looks pretty cute. They have face wipes, ooh, okay. So you can get $8 value. If you're a member of Ipsy, you can get it for like $6. So it's a value you know, you're paying less for it. And they also have razors and stuff now and body wash. So let's see what this, and they have stickers too. Let's see what this in particular thing is. So this is the Lux Five Blade Razor Kit. Cute. Actually, like I was a member of Dollar Shave Club for a really long time. Then I moved and I just didn't restart it again. So I'm like, hmm, razors are something I always forget to buy until I desperately need a new one. So let's see what they look like anyways. So, ooh. Oh, okay, let me pop these back in their little spots here. So we have a five piece razor set. So this is the razor handle itself. It's like pink and green. It's actually really heavy and cold to the touch. So it's nice looking. And then we have the little holder for it for your shower as well as two replacement heads. Now that seems like a four piece set to me. It says five piece razor set on it. So is there another thing in here that I don't know about? No, there's nothing underneath here. So it says five piece sets, but there's only four pieces in here. But uh, yeah, that's actually kind of odd. I'm surprised by that. There's nothing else in here, but this is the first thing in here. It's cute. This handle's really pretty. And I do think it's worth like what you're paying six bucks for this or something. Let me see what the card says. So you're paying $5. Absolutely. That's a great price. So let's move on to the Ipsy little glam bag now. Okay. So this is Ipsy's original glam bag, the little small one you get a bag every month. This one is little lips and then it says sealed with a kiss on the back, which is very fitting for February Valentine's Day and everything. So let's get started. This one has a cute little clasp on it. It's really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and reach in here. Here's what the inside looks like and pull out the first thing. So the first thing is from one kind. It is a pore perfectionist refining pink clay. So it is a facial. So here is the first thing in here. Oh no, it won't focus. Na, 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 na. Focus, there you go. <laughs> the first thing here is like a little mini facial. Next up, because there's a ton of little stuff in here, this one is from Glam Glow. It is the Bright Eyes Illuminating Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. So this one's cute. Glam Glow is a very expensive brand. Oh, it's not sealed. It doesn't have any fragrance to it, but it's a little eye cream. And honestly, eye cream takes a long time to go through, so I don't think you need like a full-size bottle for some of it. Next up in here is a, liquid, is a full size lipstick from MAC. This is the color Sweet Sakura, which is a red. Is it Sakura or Sakura? I've heard it both ways. So here is the MAC lipstick. I want to smell it because MAC lipsticks have this distinct smell that I kind of miss actually. Yeah, it, it smells nostalgic to me because I like, used to wear MAC a lot. So here is the red color. It's very, very pretty. I know this retails for $18. So this is the first thing in here. Does people still wear MAC stick lipsticks? Let me know down below because MAC's not talked about as much as it used to be. Next up here we have some little bubble wrap things. So it looks to be an eyeshadow maybe. Okay, so it's an eyeshadow duo. It's rose gold and ivory from Love You First Perfect Eyeshadow Duo. So let's see. Oh, these are cute. It's very simple. So here's just a little kind of brown and a bronzy kind of shimmer shade it's a cute duo like i'm not familiar with this brand in particular and i feel like if you didn't you had like no space in your bag you were traveling you could do a little look with this because you get a matte and you have a shimmer and they're both neutral so this is the next thing in here so far we have four things and the bag 
and it looks like we have two things left in here. So this one is from Bite Beauty. It's very tiny. This is the color Orange Fizz. It is their lip stain. So here is the Orange Fizz lip stain. It's almost, it's very, very red for being an orange, which kind of matches the bag, honestly. So this is the next thing, a little lip stain. And then lastly, we have another full size product. So this is a matte fluid eye paint from About Face, which is Halsey's uh, makeup brand, which I've heard mixed things on. Honestly, I don't know why she has a makeup brand, but you know, it is what it is. This packaging is cool. Now I wish for uh, liquid eyeshadows it wasn't matte. I don't care for matte liquid eyeshadows. All my liquid eyeshadows would be like metallic and sparkly and pretty and beautiful. This packaging is very cute though. So this is what the packaging for the fluid eye paint look like. It's a dark brown. I'm not going to use it because um, I don't know how much use I would get out of it. But it has like a doe foot flat applicator for like a liquid lipstick. So this is kind of cute. Honestly, like when I hear Halsey making a makeup brand and what I've seen from the previews and stuff, I'm like, meh. But the packaging on this is very cute. So let's go over everything we got in the little Ipsy Glam bag. So we have a liquid eye paint, liquid eyeshadow from About Face. We have the bag, of course. We have a little eyeshadow duo, a mini lip stain from Bite Beauty, a full-size lipstick from MAC. We have a purifying facial and a little mini eye cream from Glam Glow. So overall, this is what you get in the little mini Glam bag. It's actually a lot. I feel like for the price, you're definitely getting some good value. You have two full-size products in here. And now let's move on to the premium box, the plus box. Okay, as usual, my Ipsy came punctured. Like the mailman does not like me for some reason. I don't know. But this is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, which is $25 a month, which is like the same price as like the BoxyCharm base box. So let's get started. And here is the inside of the box. I will also, since they don't put a card to retail value in here anymore, which annoys me, <laughs> honestly, I will let you know on the screen what the retail value of these items are. But this is the first look inside the box. And first offhand, I see something from it and as well as one of their other refreshments, like we mentioned with the razor thing. So this is the refreshments pillowy shave cream with citrus spritz. So we have a full shave cream here. I don't actually use shave cream. Let me know if you do down below. Um, it's just not something I use personally, but it does match along with the kit, the razor kit. So that matches. Maybe that's the fifth item in the kit and it just couldn't fit in the kit box. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Next up in here, we have something from It Cosmetics. It is their Heavenly Skin Skin Hugging Foundation Brush number 707. This is a big fat foundation brush, you guys. But here is the brush up close. This is a huge foundation brush. I would never need a foundation brush this big, but they are very good value and they have really great quality in their brushes. But like, they always have white bristles and I don't like white bristles typically because they get stained, but it is what it is. So next up in here, we have something from Benefit. So this is a Shaping and Setting Gel 24 Hour Brow Setter. Um, 24 Hour Invisible Shaping for Brows. So we have a brow gel from Benefit here. It looks cute. I mean, the Benefit's packaging is super, super cute, but like, I don't agree with some of their stuff. Next up in here was something from Dr. Brandt. This is a Hydrobionic Recovery Sleeping Mask. I know this is an expensive brand. Like I know Dr. Brandt stuff is pricey. It's a cute little tube here. But I'm tired of getting sleeping masks in boxes. Like we get sleeping masks so frequently that like I just got one from Elemis. And then I feel like we just got some mini ones in some other box too. Like I'm tired of getting sleeping masks. Because one, I'll forget to rinse them off in the morning. I'm stupid. But, <laughs> and don't even hate me for saying that. It's just a joke. But I, I don't know. I forget to use sleeping masks. Next up in here is the Beauty Stat Universal C Skin Refiner um, with 20% vit vitamin C, brightens, retexturizes, and firms. So, Beauty Stat, I'm not familiar with. But we have a skin refining vitamin C serum, it looks like here. So it is clinically tested to decrease, decrease the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and improve firm skin tones and firm skin tones. So this is the next thing in here. We get a lot of skincare this time, you know, you guys. Um, and that looks like it's it actually for the plus for this month. We had the little card. It's the send love theme. But if you're going to put a card in here, can you at least tell me the retail price of these things, please? And then lastly, for the bag, the bag is cute. It's just a little red drawstring bag with cute little gold lips on it. So, I mean, the mini bag this month was great. Let's go over everything we got in the full size thing. 
So we have the refreshment razor kit, which I don't know if it counts as one of our items. We have a bag, of course. We have the skin refining thing. We have the sleeping mask, a brow gel, as well as a brush. This doesn't scream makeup to me. That's what I really want in an Ipsy or any subscription box. I want makeup products. I want eyeshadow. I want primers. I want foundation. I want, you know, all kinds of stuff and like, even brushes. But I mean, I appreciate having an it brush in here because they're expensive. But like to me, this is like two skincare items, a clear brow gel. It doesn't really scream makeup to me this month. Um, but the little mini bag was awesome. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below, you guys. Tomorrow's video will be the Boxy Charm unboxings for the month. So if you are ready for that, please give me a thumbs up on this video and I'll have it out for you tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.